Hey everybody. I spent the past hour or so going through some old power supplies and I've been salvaging some best tech ATX 2V12V units that I've been kicking around on my shelf for quite a while. And um I just want to show you something pretty funny about these things. I made pretty I've made plenty of videos in the past about the 5 volt standby issue with these units. For those who don't know, the Best Tech ATX 2V12E power supply is a defective power supply that was installed in who knows how many e machines computers from let's say 2002 to 2005. And this is why e machines would pre prematurely fail and the power supply would be dead and the motherboard would be dead. The power supplies took out the motherboards when they went. And what would happen is this faulty two transistor design on the 5 volt standby rail would cause the 5 volt standby rail to go as high as 12 to 13 volts. I actually have a video on my channel of multimetering one of these power supplies and getting over 12 volts out of 5 volt standby rail. Let's have a look at this how much heat this thing has put off when the 5 volt standby rail went high. You can kind of see the discoloration in the board. Get different angles so you can see it better. Pretty crazy. Anyways, um, another thing to mention about these power supplies is while they are faulty in terms of the 5 volt standby rail, they do have useful components. And if you're like me who, li who likes to repair power supplies in some, some cases, I like to gut these parts. For example, we have some Y capacitors, X capacitor, Bridge rectifier, neural X capacitor, MOVs. These are actually surge protection devices. Some cheap power supplies don't have them. And some cheap power supplies also lack these and these. And some cheap power supplies don't use these, rather, they use a four diode system. There's a fuse, NTC thermistor long coil. Most of these components right now go on the primary side of the power supply. And another thing that I commonly got out of these units is the primary caps. Let's say you have a cheap power supply that has very small caps, you can put these in instead. These are 470 microfarads compared to the 330 microfarad caps that some cheap power supplies have. Anyways, I've had to share it with you all. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.